the topic 6 polynomial 6.3 partial fraction in this subtopic our objective is the number one construct the partial fraction decomposition when the denominator in the form of one a linear factor two a repeated linear factor and third a quadratic factor that cannot be factorized we will see the degree of denominator up to three the objective two we will learn how to change the rational polynomial to proper fraction when the degree of the numerator is the same or more than the denominator the third objective is we determine the partial fraction in this video part one will focus on objective one only now we have a single fraction we call it as a single proper fractional function where we have the denominator in the form of two product this fraction we can decompose into sum of two fraction these two fraction we call it as a proper fractional function step we use to decompose from single to two proper fraction we call it as a partial fraction objective one we learn how to construct the decomposition where we have the denominator is a different linear factor here we have example one 5x plus 7 over x plus 1 times x plus 2 we have two linear factor so since we have two linear factor then we have two partial fraction where is the first fraction is the first linear factor and the second is x plus 2 is another linear factor since the denominator is linear so the numerator is constant we put as a the second fraction also the numerator is constant we put as b for example b we have denominator is x times x plus 2 the first factor is x so this factor is a linear factor and another factor is x plus 2 so we have two partial fraction where is the denominator is the first factor that is x and the second fraction is the second linear factor that is x plus 2 since both denominator is linear so the numerator is a constant we put as a and also b for question c we have three linear factor so we will have three fraction so each fraction consists of the linear factor from denominator so the numerator is constant we put as a and then b and then C. Example 2, we look denominator is repeated linear factor a 2x over x plus 1 square. So here we have linear factor x plus 1 but we have twice. It's repeated factor so we will have two fraction. So the first one is x plus 1 power of 2 and then the second fraction we reduce the power by 1 we get over x plus 1 for the first fraction in the bracket is linear so the numerator 
is constant and the second fraction numerator is constant. For the question B, we have denominator is x square times x plus 2. So here we have x, we have twice, and then x plus 2. So we have three fraction here. The first fraction is x square, and then the second fraction is we reduce this power by 1, so we have over x. And the third fraction is the linear factor x plus 2. For the x square, it linear factor. So, numerator is a for the denominator x. The numerator is constant b and the third fraction numerator is c. Question c we have x times 2x plus 1 square. So this x, we have power of 1. And 2x plus 1, we have power of 2. So we have 3 fraction. So the first fraction is over x. And the second is 2x plus 1 square. And then we reduce the power by 1 over 2x plus 1. So all the denominator is linear. So numerator is constant. So we start with A and then B and then C. Example 3. We look the denominator is quadratic factor and we can factorize. For example, if we look this denominator, it's not in the form of factor. So we can write into fraction with the denominator as a product of two linear factor. So, denominator have two linear factor. So, we have two fraction. The first one is over x plus 2 and the second is over x minus 3. The numerator will start with A and then B since the denominator is linear. For the question B, Denominator x square minus 1, we can factorize. So we get x plus 1 times x minus 1. Then we decompose into fraction. So since we have two factor, so we have two fraction. The first is x plus 1 and the second is x minus 1. The numerator will start with a and b. Since denominator is linear. For C, we can factorize denominator. We will get x minus 1 square. So, this is repeated linear factor. So, we can decompose into two fractions. The first one is x minus 2 square. And the second is we reduce the power by 1. So, we get x minus 2. Both denominator is linear. So, numerator is constant. For example, for denominator is quadratic factor, but this one we cannot factorize. For example, we have x minus 2 over x plus 1 times x squared plus 3. The first fraction is over x plus 1 and the second is over x squared plus 3. So here we, we have denominator is linear. So, numerator is constant. If we have quadratic factor and we cannot factorize, so numerator is linear. So, linear form is bx plus c. And then, question b. So, we have the denominator is x times x square plus 3x plus 1. So, this is the quadratic that cannot be factorized. Same as the question A, the first fraction is over x, the linear, and the second is over the quadratic factor. So the first fraction is numerator is constant, and the second fraction, the numerator 
this linear form. So we put bx plus c. Question c, the denominator, the denominator is quadratic times quadratic. And this quadratic, we cannot factorize. So the first fraction is x squared plus 2. And the second fraction is x squared plus 1. Both denominator is quadratic. So numerator become linear form. ax plus b. And another fraction numerator is cx plus d.